welcome to today's workout. We're going to do a cardio interval workout. The goal with these cardio workouts is just to burn calories, get the heart rate up. Not necessarily doing any strength building here, but it's just the kind of end of the week, just burn off whatever you ate on Saturday type of workout. So we're going to start off with a warm up. And the first thing we're going to do is some hip circles. So we have our hands here, and we're just doing big circles with the hips. We'll go clockwise first, getting as big of a range of motion as you can out of these. You can hear my ankles popping. I would make a lousy thief because I can't sneak into houses because my ankles pop. And you get a little hamstring stretch on the back end. Go the other way counterclockwise. Okay, feet together. Same thing with the knees. Hands above the knees, and you're doing clockwise circles. Get a little booty action in on these two. It's all right. The people at home like that. And let's go the other way. Loosening up the joints. From here, feet stay together. Left hand at your side, right hand overhead. Kick the hip out, side bend, and then go the other way. Just alternating side bends. Look up towards your hand as you stretch. My main objective is to not hit anyone in the face. Exhale as you stretch. Inhale as you make the change to the other side. We'll do a couple more each side. And feet or shoulders apart, torso twist. So let your arms serve as kind of a, a weight around your body, giving you that extra stretch on your lower back, on your hips. Just trying to free up the spine a little bit. Helps you increase the range of motion. And of course, prevents injury. more. Now we're going to go into hip rotations. This is a balanced move, but it helps get those stabilizers and the hips fired up. There's a couple ways to do this. You can do this with or without a lunge. Tyler's going to do it without the lunge. Sam's going to do it with the lunge. So let me have you two flip flop here so you have a little more room to lunge, Sam. Okay, so option one is you're on this foot. Raise the leg. Open up. Turn your body. Come back down and set it down. Option two, back lunge, raise, rotate, rotate, back lunge. Okay, so we'll just do a few of these each side. So Sam's going into the back lunge. So drop back down like so, follow along with me. Raise the, whoop, that might happen. Raise the leg, open up, and then come back down. So we're just doing one side only. And then drop down, focus on your breath. And these balance exercises, you know, they might not seem like much, but when you're doing some of the stuff that we're going to be doing, we're going to be jumping around, um, getting the heart rate up, this helps you perform better. Um, it fires up those little teeny muscles you can't see, but down here, Tyler's shins are, are twitching, that tibialis muscle is going crazy right now. And let's switch sides. There we go. So add the lunge if you, you know, if you're okay with lunging, some people aren't. But if you can handle lunges, it's just another way to warm up the legs a little bit more. And let's get one more here, Sam. And good. Now we're going wider, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're dropping down into a deep squat. Your hands are on your feet, and then what you're doing is you're popping your butt up, stretching the hamstrings, and then come back down. From the side, it looks like this. So I'm here, I drop down, and then my head kind of follows my torso, so I go here, and then I'm back down, back and forth. If you can't get that far, go ahead guys, get started on that. If you can't get that far, just go down as far as you can, and then get that stretch, you'll feel that right behind the knee, and then right back down. These guys are working on their hip mobility, so they're going to try to get 
it down there as far as they can. Make sure you exhale on the way up. Let's get one more each. And good. Okay, we are ready to get started. Circuit one is really just going to be some steady state cardio. It's going to be a continuation of the warm up. After that, we'll take a little rest and then we'll get into some of the harder stuff. So we're going to start off with jump roping here. So we have our imaginary jump rope. Just kind of get your toes off the ground a little bit. And here we go, guys. Let's get it going. We get my timer out. And we're going to go 90 seconds on each of these. So just kind of play with it. You can do both legs at the same time. You can go side to side. You can do a little boxer shuffle where you go one, two, one, 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 two, one, one, back and forth. If you're starting to feel a little bit looser, you can start getting a little bit more height to do it as well. If you're really creative, you can do an imaginary double under. But do that at your own risk. Good, so hard rate right, is starting to increase. Sam's mixing it up every which way you go like that. Remember to keep those arms going, Tyler. Keep those arms going. We're getting the shoulders moving too. We're coming up on one minute. And we're doing 90 seconds. I'm going to get in here. It's a little bit cold in this room, so I'm going to keep it going. Plus, we're filming. i got to try to keep my pump on, you know. can't get deflated for you guys. Going back and forth. We've got 15 seconds left. We get a little side kick here going. And now, we are switching into side hops. So from here, you have your imaginary line, and you're just going here, here, back and forth. Tyler's going to modify this, Sam, go ahead and get started. Tyler, we're going to say he has joint issues, so he's just going here, step, 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 step. In 90 seconds. So, focus on a couple things here. Focus on a soft landing. Keep that as quiet as you can. Tyler's doing low impact, but I still want him working here, so he's got, you know, get a little knee bend into it, okay? Because if you're standing up too tall, it's a modification, but you're not really working if you do it that way. And then what we'll do at the end is we'll get a little double time action going. You know? Looks good. Tyler's looking at the ground to make sure he doesn't fall. He's going to do that. Okay, last 30 seconds. Let's go double time. Just pick it up back and forth. Back and forth. Get the arms going too. Hop over that line. Now Tyler's kind of picking it up here like this. Just a little, little taps. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. And last one, we're jogging in place now. Okay, so just keep it moving. Let's go. Again, this is steady state cardio. It's just more of a constant burn, not as high of intensity as some of the other things that we're doing. But for some people, it just takes longer to warm up. Uh, I remember when I was in high school, I'd just throw on the basketball shoes, run out on the court, and I was good to go. Now, mid 30s, it takes a little bit longer to, to get limber to get all the muscles firing that need to fire. Let's go high knees now. Tyler's modification, just kind of march it out here. Coming up on one minute again. Okay, let's go back to a jog. Back to a jog. Tyler's moving. If he has those ankle or knee issues, he's just kind of doing a little calf raise here so his toes aren't even really coming off the ground. A lot of the workouts 
Um, you know, just if you want to go shoes or no shoes, Sam has shoes, Tyler doesn't, let's go high knees, last 10 seconds. Just do whatever's comfortable for you. Four, three, two, one, and relax. That is the end of circuit one. So just some lower intensity movements. Because it's lower intensity, we're taking about 30 seconds. Grab a little water if you need it, and then we'll jump into circuit two. Circuit number two, we're picking up the intensity a little bit here. Our heart rates are still high. We're going to start off three exercises. We're going to do quick feet first. So you're just going as fast as you can like this. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Quick feet, quick feet. Push the pace. But with these more challenging exercises, as you get tired, if you can tell that your heart rate is too high, Take a little break, a couple seconds as always, and then jump back into it. If you have the joint issues, then just kind of stay on your toes. If you don't, get them off the ground a little bit. Pitter patter. 10 seconds left. There we go, just like football practice. Four, three, two, one, and rest for 20 seconds. Next exercise, you're doing a split jump. You're going from wide to narrow, so you drop down, tap up, drop down, tap up, modified, step out, stand up, step out, stand up. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. 40 seconds. There we go. So this is good. Now what I want Tyler to do is I want Tyler to spend less time at the top. Just kind of tap, tap, and then right back down. Tap, back down, boom, rapid fire. Sam's just squatting, and again, if you have any issues, you might not be able to squat quite that far. Don't do it so much that it hurts, just do what you can, and shorten the range of motion if you need to. You don't want to push through any kind of unnatural pain. Three, two, one and rest for 20. Okay, mummy kicks. So my hands are here. I'm kicking, crossing over like that, full speed. It looks like this. Boom, boom, boom. Legs are straight. Sam is just kicking as fast as you can without jumping. It'll feel a little awkward. Three, two, one, and here we go. 40 seconds. There we go. Ty's got nice straight legs here, flexing the quads by keeping his landing soft at the bottom. Sam is looking like a zombie. So Sam, you want to go crisscross those arms. Looks like you got them brainwashed. 15 seconds left. I'm going to jump in here, get my heart rate up. And we're at five, four, three, Two, one, 20 second rest. Next round, 30 seconds. We shorten the time a little bit. We give you a little bit less time rest. So 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Same three exercises. Catch your breath for a second. Quick feet in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. You know, get your hands going rapid fire. Sometimes I like to get a little flow going like this. Sam's going stationary. Make sure you keep your core tight. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. 15 second rest. The rest goes by quicker. Heart rate is high. 10 seconds left. Split jumps coming up next. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Split jumps. There we go. Down, get up. Good. 
As you land, keep that landing soft. Make sure your butt drops back rather than, we don't want this, we don't want the hinge at the knees first. We want the hinge when you're sitting back into a chair. 10 seconds left. Your knees are slightly flared out on these, a little bit to the side. You don't want to be straight, straight knee in this one. And rest. On the mummy kicks. Keep breathing. We've got a water break coming up soon. Four, three, two, one, and here we go, mummy kicks. Good, push yourself. Looks good. This is going to burn out those shoulders too. So it's good whenever, whenever you do cardio, if you can get the blood flow not just to the legs. I mean, the legs are the driving force for a lot of these cardio moves. But if we can get it moving throughout the body, that's going to help mobilize fat in different areas of your body. Two, one, and rest. 15 seconds. We have our 20 second round. Traditional Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, three exercises. These go by quickly, but I want full intensity on these because they are so short. Okay, we're going in three, two, one, and go. There we go, quick feet. Just 20 seconds. There we go. Look at that. It's burning rubber. Over halfway. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest for 10 seconds. Quick rest and the split jumps. The deep squats are as deep as you can handle them. Two, one, and go. Here, let's go up and down. Up and down. I'll try not to get in anyone's way here. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest for ten. Last exercise, then we get a break. Push through it. Four, three, two, one. Mommy kicks, go. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, faster. There we go. Good pace. Eyes are forward. Neck, head is in a neutral position. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And take a water break. Nice job, guys. We're going to take about a 60 second water break. As you're resting at home, depending on your fitness level, you know, you might finish a circuit and your heart rate might be sky high after that. If that's the case, stretch that break out a little bit. You might need a full two minutes if you are a beginner. And if so, don't be afraid to take it. As well, don't be afraid to take, like I said, those mini breaks in the middle of the exercise. So, we have two circuits down, and we have two circuits to go. Okay, so while we're resting, the first exercise is a mule kick. I'm going to explain this one. So, don't overextend yourself on this. This is a more advanced move, but we do have a modification for it. So what you're doing is I'm getting down into my hands. Let me make sure I don't kick sand here. And then I drop down, kick up, soft landing stand up. The modification is going to be just to kind of come down here, lean onto the hands, come up, and then stand up. And then as you do it, just keep progressing with it. So we're going to go 60 seconds on this one, full minute. Do your best. Three, two, one, and go. So Sam's modifying. Tyler's getting the full out, kick you in the face, mule kick. And what you'll notice, the first, you know, 10 to 15 seconds of these, they don't seem so bad, but it's a compound, multi-joint movement. So many body parts are coming into play. You have the overhead factor. Whenever you put your hands overhead, and you do any kind of move like this, your whole core is ignited. You need to brace that core and able to, to be able to complete the move. So by the time you get close to it, we're at 40 seconds now. Tyler's feeling it. 
and you don't even know how to get so tired from these, but you're pretty much wiped out, 10 seconds left. Sam's doing enough to feel it in the core. You want to keep that landing nice and soft. Five, four, three, two, one, and nice job, guys. That is hard work right there. We're getting into a little bit of kickboxing now. So, basic move, hands up in the guarded position. You're doing a squat and then kick left. Squat, kick left. When you kick left, lean onto that right foot. Get that leg as straight as you can. I like a little flexibility. Mine's not the prettiest in the world. 60 seconds, three, two, one, and go. I'm gonna do my best to stay out of your way here. And Sam's gonna modify it and just, you know, work with the range of motion that she has here. Flex that quad at the top. Feel it in the hips, in your hip abductor on the outside. Like I said, lean over, load up that right leg. Make sure when you do these kicks that you're not snapping your joints. That you don't want to, you know, when you snap, you can get that wear and tear on the joint. You want to leave a little, a little bit of softness at the end of that kick. 40 seconds, 20 to go. Good. This is also a good balance move. Uh, you might notice as, as you get fatigued here, uh, you might lose your balance a little bit, so it's important to maintain that tight core. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And now we have one of my personal favorites. We have front kicks. So what you're doing is you're jumping off the leg and then kicking. So I'm actually jumping off my right leg and I'm kicking with the right leg. So from the side, it's here. Boom, from the front, boom, modification, just fire, rapid fire kicks. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. Keep that back, tight. Right up here. Boom, there it is. Now Sam, I want, if she can, to get a little further step back so it kind of turns into a lunge for that other leg. Boom. Good. So my favorite movie of all time is Karate Kid. So you can you can throw the crane into it too if you want, Daniel Larusso style. Good, explosive movement right here. Twenty seconds left. Good, that's good. I'm gonna get ten seconds worth. Boom, I'm firing through, boom, double time it, double time it, double time it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, we went through it once. We're gonna go one more time through. Back to mule kicks. Pace yourself if you need to. You're gonna be more fatigued than you were at the beginning of the set. So kind of gather yourself, push as hard as you can, but don't try to be a hero with it, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. Back up into it. Soft landing. Ty's getting a kick. He's even holding the handstand a little bit. Oh, it's too far. It's okay. I don't know how well you guys can hear these two at home, but there's some heavy breathing going on now. Tyler, why don't you give the folks a side view of this, just so they can get the full perspective of it. There we go. He's holding that one. Another one? Yeah, let's do a couple more. There we go. Good. Keep that line as quiet as you can. Now, again, with knee issues, it might be a bit much to land like that. You might feel it on the patella. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. But do your best. As you get better at it, you'll have more total body control and you find that you're able to control the landing better. Okay, squat, side kick, right side this time. 60 seconds, three, two, one, and go. I tell you, after you do 60 seconds of mule kicks, this actually kind of seems like a walk in the park. But if it seems too easy, pick up your pace, Go rapid fire. Good, there we go. Good, as they do the 
squat, as we, similar to any squat, chest is tall, sit back. You don't want to go down too far where your tailbone starts to curve under your body like that. You want to keep it right about here. I almost got kicked in the face. We have 15 seconds left. Good, long 60 second sets here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're not going to waste any time. We're going into high kicks with the left. So jump off the left, kick with the left. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Takes a little bit to get that coordination down on the left side. Another bonus to these kicks is it serves as kind of a dynamic hamstring stretch. As you kick, you get the, the movement. The movement pulls on that hamstring gently on the back side, helping you with that flexibility. It helps with that range of motion there. That hip explosion, quad explosion on the left side. And then the balance as he lands on the right side. We have 20 seconds left. And Sam's getting the back lunge with the kick. Again, go as far as you can with that back lunge. Finish it hard. 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One and time. Good job, guys. Okay, we're taking a 60 second water break. We have one more circuit left. We're going to finish the hard. Final circuit, we're going to a squat punch, more kickboxing here. Punch, or squat, punch, squat, punch, back and forth. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off until the next exercise. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Squat, punch, squat, punch. So Tyler's doing the advanced version, so I want him to get a nice little twist, little twist, kind of go rapid fire. Sam is just not squatting down quite as far. And as we explain with the kicks, when you punch, you don't want to snap that hand. You want to leave a little bit of bend and then pull back. So you're squatting, pull back, pull back. Keep that core tight. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. We're dropping to the ground, throwing a little core into the mix. Torso twists. Leaning back, chest is out, you don't want to be rounded here. Feet are up, and then you're twisting, pound the ground side to side as fast as you can. Sam's going to modify it just a little bit. And we're going in, three, two, one, and here we go. Good, so what Sam's doing, I'm going to have her take her heels and just lightly set them on the ground. And then what you can do at home, if you start with the heels high, if you fatigue, if you feel it, you'll feel this in your hip flexors, you'll feel it in your quads as well. If you get too much strain there, then just lower them down to the ground. Ultra advanced version is what Tyler's doing straight leg, and then as much flexibility as you have, you bring your legs up. But don't raise them to the point where that chest caves in, okay? So just keep the form solid. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, 20 second rest. We're going into squat thrusters. So, 
And what you're doing is you're dropping down as similar to a burpee. Drop down, feet go back, forward, stand up. Don't stand all the way up, keep the tension on those quads. Back, forward, stand up. To modify, step back, step forward, stand, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, and go, 40 seconds. There we go, stay down in that crouch. Step back, step forward. Now, if this proves to be too much to you, even the modified version, just squat it out, just kind of pulse it out because we want to keep that tension. So from the side, I'm here, I'm just pulsing it out, rest as needed, pulse, keep the burn. When you stand up, your weight is on your heels. We have 10 seconds left. There we go. Keep that burn. Tyler's going to keep that chest a little bit taller. There we go. Sitting down in the hips. Two, one, and time. Rest for 20 seconds. We're going to go through it again. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You know how it goes by now. We're going back to alternating squat punches. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Just 30 seconds. The time decreases, so we want the intensity to increase. This is the last circuit, so there's really no need to pace yourself at this point. If your heart rate elevates too high, then take that mini break, get back into it. Everyone who's doing this workout is at a different level, but no matter what your level is, we can make it challenging and we can make it accommodating for you. Three, two, one, and time, 15 seconds. Let's drop to the ground, get in position for the torso twist. You're going rapid fire on these. Get as much range of motion as you can. There's a lot of varieties for this one, but we're going for range of motion. And here we go. There we go. Fire it up, fire it up. Come on. Good. Now, Tyler, I want you to keep those hands together so you have to twist further. There we go. Now, if you get, some people get dizzy during these torso twists. If that's the case, just keep your eyes forward. Sometimes if you follow, you know, your shoulders around and you start to get a little bit nauseous. And you don't, definitely don't want that, especially in this kind of workout. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 15 second rests. Back on our feet, in position for the squat thrusters. 30 seconds. We're finishing strong here. Three, two, one. One, and here we go. 30 seconds. Forward, back, and down. Sam, let me have you back up just a little bit and kind of go along the mirror just so people can see from the side of you. Good. Perfect. Tyler, stand down in that crouch. Good, we have 10 seconds left. Feel that burn in your quads. It's a deep one. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. We have one more round, 15 second rest now. 20 second intervals to finish up, okay? And then we are done. So let's finish it strong. Push yourself at home. Three, two, one, and here we go. Squat punch, squat punch. Just 20 seconds, get as many as you can. Good, twist, use that core. Get a nice twist with the core. There we go. Sam, I want a little bit more range of motion. Now over here, good. Three, two, one, and 10 second rest. Down on the ground, torso twist, 20 seconds. 20 seconds is not a long time to do these, so we need high speed. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. Brace that core, tighten it up, good. There we go, we're flying. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 second rest. Squat thrusters to finish. This is the hardest one of the circuit. Let's go hard here. Three, two, one, and here we go. 20 seconds. Come on, everything you got. Up, down, quick, high speed, high speed. There we go, you can go faster. There it is. Sam, keep that up. Now switch legs, now go right leg. 
time. Nice job, everybody. Okay. We're cooling down now. Okay, grab a little sip of water if you need it. What we're going to do is we're just going to kind of jog it out here. Slowly bringing the heart rate down. You don't want to just stop and crash. It's not good for the body. Not good for the heart, especially. And then just we need to stretch those muscles out at the end. Now from here, we're kind of turning it into a little kicks. We did a lot of high intensity kicks, and now we're going to do some low intensity ones. I like to tap the quads a little bit, shake them out. Good. Now from here, widen the legs. Quads are flexed. Folding hamstring stretch, drop down. Hands can go on the ground, or you can fold them and just breathe and relax. Let your head drop. And you can rock back and forth. Now, what you might need to do if you're not cooled down quite enough yet, you know, rewind just a little bit and then jog it out a little bit more and then drop into these stretches, okay? Now, hand shift to the right side, right foot. Keep that right quad flexed. If you can't get down to your foot, go to the shin or the quad, but not right on the knee, either above or below that knee. Go over to the left side. Good work. Okay, from here, we're gonna do a little elephant. Just ragdoll up, your arms are the trunk, and you're slowly rolling up. Feet come together, and you're going to do a quad stretch. So, grab the foot. If you have a stool, use it. If you don't need it, that's fine too. Knee goes next to the other knee. Okay, you don't want to be flared out to the side. And then your glute on the right side squeezes forward. Okay, you can't see this when I'm cheating, touching the wall. But the objective is to, to stretch the quad anyway. Stand up tall, switch sides, and let's get that left side. The balance, my balance is a lot better on my left leg than my right. Good deep breaths as you cool down. And drop it. Now we're going to do a sprinter stretch. So, I'm here. Now there are a couple ways to do this. My knee is in line with my ankle, okay? Option one is to drop the knee to the ground and then lower your inside elbow, okay? Knee down, lower the inside elbow. Option two, if you want more of a stretch on your hip, is to straighten this back leg and then sink down as much as you can, okay? So let's get into that left foot forward first. And I'll stay out of the way on this one. And you're taking that inside elbow and sinking down. Now Sam's ultra flexible so, I, flexible, so what I wanted to do here is take this knee, flex that quad, straighten that out a little bit more. That's going to shorten the range of motion just a little bit, giving her more of a stretch on the right hip flexor. And let's switch legs. Right leg forward. Remember, we don't want the knee going ahead of the toes on this. Keep the weight on the heel, sink down. You'll find that one side is usually a little bit more flexible than the other. Perfectly normal. The goal is to eventually even that out. Deep breaths as you sink that elbow into the ground. And from here, let's drop back into a child's pose. So, Hips are sinking into the ground, and hands are coming forward. We'll get out of the way again. And breathe as you breathe. Keep sinking down, keep elongating the spine. Sit here for as long as you need to, and we are done. Nice job, everybody.